Hello, hello, good evening, and welcome back to another lovely episode of Cooking for the Lost Isles of the Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to uh, actually stay on the home front. We're going to stay in uh, local with our culinary adventure. Tonight, we are actually doing a steak and potato dish. Right, now for the potato part, I like to make a potato gratin, or gratin, whichever way you would like to pronounce it. Uh, which I'll show you how to make in a little bit. And for the steak, I love to use my usual Argentine marinade chimichurri, which for those who don't know, is basically just a marinade. It's parsley, garlic, fresh garlic, red crushed pepper flakes, and I personally like to use a little bit of smoked paprika, smoked Spanish paprika, right? And uh, you add olive oil and you blend all this up until it's a nice chunky consistency, and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. Right, so that's what we're gonna do. It's a simple, simple dinner, simple dish to make, super, super simple. I'll show you right now what exactly you need, all your accoutrement, as we like to show you. So, right here, we have the steak that I have marinating already, actually. This is a nice, actually, piece of beef, thin cut uh, beef chuck bone in, right? And now you see how, how we have the marinade. You see that you can still see the parsley slightly chunked up this is how you want that marinade i have it marinated for about a few hours now but you could always marinate it for more if you like right so for the potato gratin you're going to need uh what we have here is the sliced potatoes right which we have used a what they call is a mandolin a mandolin now i'm going to show you right now a mandolin is a lovely tool to have in the kitchen folks this is what a mandolin looks like. Right. So what you do is keep it level, slice the potatoes like so. And you can adjust it on the back of how thick and how thin you want your potatoes to be sliced. Or whatever actually you're making. That's what's the fun thing about potato gratin. It doesn't have to be potatoes. It could be squash. It could be any type of vegetable that you like. Right. So what we also need is some Parmesan cheese, which I like to use and some heavy cream. Salt and pepper. I'll show you how we're gonna layer, we're gonna shingle the layers actually after we have to all mixed up together with the, with the cheese and the cream. Salt and pepper it, and we shingle it in the shaving dish or in whatever type of dish you would like to bake it in. I'll show you how we finish that off in a little bit. Now, as always on this show, let's not forget to keep these up in the air, keep stirring, keep cooking, and we'll be right back, mates. All right, cheers. Right, right. Oh, welcome back to Cooking for the Lifestyles of Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. Now, when I left you before, we were uh, showing you the accoutrement and everything that you need. So I put together the potato gratin in a baking dish, casserole baking dish. Let's take a look here. Let's see how lovely that looks. And as you see, we shingle, that's what I meant by shingling the potato slices with the cream and the parmesan salt and pepper and you just shingle them and this is all everything included here that is the sliced potatoes, the cream, the heavy cream and the parmesan cheese right so what we did is put everything in a bowl Parmesan cheese, a little bit of cream, add it one at a time, a little bit at a time. Salt and pepper, and just get that, get in there, and get mixing all that up, and make sure that you got all the salt. I like to salt and pepper the potato slices before I add the heavy cream and cheese. Only I feel that the salt and pepper sticks on it more, gives it more flavor, right? But you're going to be adjusting it, tasting the liquid, the cream, and see how salty it is. If it's not, if it needs more salt. Always taste your food, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I always say. Always taste your food and always keep putting the Modelo's in the air. <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to business. So what we're going to do is here, set your oven at 350. And if you see here, you want to use a parchment paper or wax paper, whichever you have, before you put the aluminum foil on. So put this on, on top of the potato gratin and then the foil and then wrap it and then bake it. I have it at 350, 350 degrees uh, for about roughly half an hour, 45 minutes. 
You want to take it out, check it, make sure that it's nice and creamy still, not overdone, not too dry. And then I like to finish it off under the broiler to get a nice color, a nice crust on the top. Right. So what you want to do is, like I said, 350 degrees, 35 minutes, check it. And then if it needs another 10 minutes or so, throw it in for another 10 minutes. Until then, <laughs> keep putting these up in the air. Keep cooking, keep stirring. Cheers, salute, prost, skull. Adios. I know, mate, I know. All right, welcome back to Cooking for the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. All right, now, when I left you off, we put the potato gratin in the oven. 350 degrees, 45 minutes or so, 35 minutes. Now, let me show you how we continue with this steak and potato dish. We are going to grill the steak. Now, this is a lovely item that I have picked up. This grill, which on the other side you flip it and you can make actual pancakes, it's flat top. Uh, it's about $45, $50, maybe $30 on sale. And you just put it on top of the stove, mate, and keep it on, crank it up on high. And it's for those who just can't go out and grill in the barbecue backyard, whatever the case may be, this is a lovely tool. So, with the main thing, you want to get it real hot, screaming hot, right? What I like to do, I like to keep the steak out of room temperature for a little bit before I actually cook it. I don't like to take it right out the fridge. I like to keep it room temperature for a few minutes before I actually start to cook it. Right, now, pardon me for one second. All right, uh, now, uh, once we grill this, this steak, and after we take out the gratin, we wanna cool the gratin in the fridge cool it so this way when it gets cooled you can cut it way easier it's so much easier to cut it when it's cooled and then you just reheat it now what we have here let me show you what we're gonna use to cut the gratin it's actually pretty pretty nifty item here it's a ring mold from any type of cookie cutter set just pick one up at the store none of the lovely items to have in the kitchen absolutely genius items to have in the kitchen so what we're gonna use is this once it's cooled down the gratin and we're going to punch holes in the gratin so they'll be like little bot size gratins. And you just put a few little fuel on the plate or whatever. Pop them in your mouth. Eat it with the steak. Wash it down with some Modelo. Sound good or what, mates? All right. Now, when we come back, I will show you how we cook this steak on this lovely contraption here. This grill that you put on the uh, stove top. Right? And I will show you the finished product of the gratin before we cool it and before we cut it. Right, mates. So, keep cooking, keep stirring, keep putting these up in the air. Prost, skull, cheers, salute, mates. See you in a bit. Right, welcome back to Cooking for the Last Size of the Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. Now, let's take a quick look here. This is how you want to sound, your steak to sound when you put it on the grill. You hear that sizzle? That's the sizzle you need. Get those nice charred grill marks. As you can see, the juices are starting to form here. It's actually, it's just lovely. Lovely, lovely piece of meat. Right, so, this is just a quick snippet just to show you exactly how you want to grill your steak. This goes on any type of grill, outside, inside, whatever. Right, mate, so when we come back, we'll show you the finished product of the steak, finished product of the gratin, Finished product of tonight's dish, potatoes and steak. Cheers, mate. Keep putting us up in the air. Keep cooking. Keep stirring. And we'll be right back. Salute. Cheers. Yes. Welcome back, mates, to the end of the show. We're going to show you here the finished product of our steak and potatoes dish. Check it out. So, right here, we have our steak. We have our potato gratin that we cut with the cookie cutters, as I showed you earlier. And you see here, this is the finished product of the potato gratin, right? And you see how the layers are still there when we shingle the potatoes. Creamy, cheesy, salty goodness. And you just, like I said, you let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, you just punch it like so. Punch, punch. And you can use different sizes, different shapes even if you want. I mean, triangle, stars, whatever. Anyway, the point is, get creative. Keep stirring, keep cooking, and keep pitting this up in the air. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode, mates. I surely did. Always love cooking with you guys. Stay tuned to the next episode. Next Wednesday, 10 p.m. YouTube channel. Subscribe. Tony Robin Leach Lemos cooking for the lost stars of the rich and famous. Until the next time, mates. Cheers. Prost. Skull. Salute.